Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel and letting me share another creation with you featuring the large die of the month from the Spellbinders Club Kits. I have two cards for you today featuring the How Does Your Garden Grow alphabet. It has um, these cute slim and tall letters as well as some foliage dies to go with. So I'm going to die cut the word congratulations from some brush silver cardstock. At first I thought I was going to have it just say congrats. And then I thought, you know, I wanted to make a slimline card so I could probably fit the whole word. So here I am adding on those extra letters and there was a few I had to die cut two times. And then once I stretched it out here, I thought, oh no. It's so long. Can I fit the whole thing on my slimline card? So I knew I wanted the card to be a vertical orientation. So I just lined them up on my grid mat to see if all of them would fit on the length of my card. And I thought they probably would if I could strategically get them on the paper. So we'll see how that goes in a moment. I'm going to cut out all the foliage pieces. I'm using tin pail for the um, like the stems and some peaches and cream for the buds. I'm going to glue them on here. There's um, two ways you can glue them on. You can glue it like I'm doing with the bud on top or you can put the bud behind for a different look. It's really cute that way too. So I'll get those all glued together and ready to go for assembling of the card but I'm gonna do the background now. So I have Peaches and Cream ink from um, Fun Stampers Journey, which is a product line sold at the Spellbinder shop. I um, chose these colors because they are for a friend who is getting married. It's actually um, one of my best friend's daughters who is getting married. It's very exciting. I actually help them make the wedding invitations and these are her exact colors that we use to make the invitations. So I wanted to make this card for her for a bridal shower card. So after ink blending on the background, I'm using the heart wall stencil to add hearts over the top with the same color of ink for a really subtle background. Darker at the top and lighter towards the bottom. And it looks like that. I'm going to next splatter that with some sparkle silk because I love splatter, I love sparkle, and it needs that because it's a wedding card. It needs some sparkle. So you can see there all the shimmer. We'll let that dry, and once it is dry, we're going to add that to a slimline card that is 9 by 8 inches, scored at 4 inches. So the top panel is actually um, 8 and 3 fourths by 3 and 3 fourths, the one with the hearts on it. And now I'm using my grid mat, the grid on my glass mat, to help me figure out the centering of these letters across the card. So I'm going to have rows of three letters and then I brought in my T-square ruler to make sure that they were um, straight across the bottom. I'm not good with precision. I'm really not. I work at it. It, it kind of stresses me out. Like I would rather just go willy-nilly and throw these on there. But I'm working on that. I'm working on patience. And actually, it went pretty well. And I probably could have put the first three letters closer to the top of the paper. But it all worked out in the end. Whew. But I love the look. It was definitely worth it. I think that this turned out so cute. And I love these slim letters. They're awesome. So next, I'm bringing back my flowers. And these flowers are made to go on the letters. Look how cute. So I kind of figured out where I wanted them to go and once I had them all just laid on I went back and glued them into place. So you can see I have two on the outer letters and then one in the middle and I just repeat that pattern as I go down the card. I love the little curved stems that they can go around the O's and the S's and the C. So fun and they have different size of the branches. It's a really fun 
little set and you can get just these tiny little variations in your flowers. Now, so now I am taking that same sparkle silk that I splattered the background and painting on each of those petals so that they are shimmery. Once that's dry, I came back with my Journey Glaze and glazed over the top of each of those flowers. And that finishes off card number one. I'm gonna set that aside to dry and we'll work on card number two. And I cannot wait to give this to my friend. I think it's so perfect for her. All right, so for card number two, we're going to do a quick card, but I'm gonna use some of the same products that I used before. So I have that heart wall stencil and some tin pale cardstock. Again, this cardstock is a super subtle gray. So I'm taking that same color of ink and stenciling that on over the top. And then we'll get a, you know, it's a, a different, tint of the same gray so it's just a you know little lighter cardstock with a darker heart on it i love the look and then we'll splatter that also with some sparkle silk i use this stuff all the time i love it shimmer it dries fast it applies easily you can paint it on yeah it's yummy so there's that background we're gonna let that dry and then die cut the word hey out of the front like h-e-y and it's pretty easy to line these up. They're just all the same height, so it's easy to eyeball it and put it on there, which, as you know, I like to eyeball it better than I like using a ruler, so these short words were quick and easy to do. I'm not gonna use the die cut letters this time, but they're definitely something I would save in the packaging that I'm gonna store the dies in for future use. I'm gonna take some of that brushed silver cardstock and put it behind for some more shine. So it's just all about subtle, hints of shine and shimmer with these cards. So that is going to look really cool with the gray on top and the shiver, shiver, it's not a shiver, <laughs> the shimmer of that silver behind. I'm taking the text happy stamp set and stamping out the word fabulous with Riverstone ink, so darker than my tin pail, onto them some of that peaches and cream cardstock. And then I'm going to trim, I trimmed it down with my paper cutter first and then did some detail cutting to make it smaller with my scissors and flagged the end. I will attach that right over the word hay and I'm gonna just glue that down with some liquid glue. And that will go over the Y and just a barely over the E, just on the very end. All right, so then we'll add a couple of these flowers that I had left over from the first card, one next to the H. So this time I'm putting it next to it instead of right on top of it. And so it's just another way you can use this die set. And the last one goes right next to the Y, like that. And then we're gonna mount this onto some cardstock. So I'm using some of that Riverstone cardstock. This is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So it's just an eighth of an inch larger than my top panel. And then I am adding that with some foam tape to an A2 size card. And then I can add my extra flowers, still more, <laughs> to the inside of this card for just a fun little detail in there. And I still had, I think, two left over after that. Yeah, so to finish this card, I'm gonna add some Nouveau Crystal Gems. These are really fun because they kind of pick up the colors on the card. So you can, I mean, they kind of have a peachy look to them. I love it. So that finishes up card number two. I think this alphabet die set is so fun. It's perfect for cards perfect for scrapbooking, even for use in your planner. So it's a great set this month. I'm really excited about it. I hope that you've enjoyed this and got some ideas for this large die kit of the month. Spellbinders has several kits of the month. I will put a link to that below so you can check out this kit and the others that Spellbinders has to offer. And I will be back again very soon with more videos for you. So feel free to subscribe and ring the bell and YouTube will let you know next time I have a video. Happy stamping. I will see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.